Hello everyone, I am Kifayat. In this video, we will explore the fundamental concepts of firewall and why they are essential for securing your digital environment. Digital world is evolving rapidly. Ensuring the security of our network is very important. Firewall plays a crucial role in protecting our digital assets by acting as a barrier between our internal system and the external, often unpredictable world of the internet. So, what is a firewall? Firewall is like a security guard for your network. Firewall works silently in the background, monitoring and filtering network traffic without drawing any attention. They act as digital guardians, ensuring the safety and integrity of our networks without disrupting our usual activities. It establishes a barrier similar to a checkpoint between your internal systems and the internet, just like how we enter the college by checking in at the main gate. So now we know what a firewall is, let's explore its primary purpose. A firewall's job is to fi monitor, filter and control incoming and outgoing network traffic. It acts as a gatekeeper examining each piece of data that enters or leaves the net network. Based on predefined security rules, it decides whether to allow or deny network traffic. There are two different types of firewalls. Hardware firewalls, which are standalone devices, and software firewalls, which are applications installed on a computer. Hardware firewalls are physical devices that is placed between your internal network and the internet, providing network wide protection. On the other hand, software firewalls are applications involved installed on individual computers offering local protection. Both types the common goal of securing your network, but they operate at different levels. Now let's see hardware firewalls. So when it comes to network security, we have these essential guardians. They are called the hardware firewalls. Imagine them as bouncers at the entrance of a club, but for your digital space. Unlike software firewalls that run on your computer, hardware firewalls are dedicated devices that sit between your internal network and the outside world, typically at the point where your network connects with the internet. They are, they are like gatekeepers scrutinizing every piece of data trying to get in or out. Now what makes hardware firewalls special is that they operate independently of your computer's operating system, providing an additional layer of defense. They, are, they use predefined rules to filter traffic, blocking anything suspicious or unauthorized. These devices are fantastic because they add an extra barrier, keeping the bad stuff out and your data safe. No. Now let's talk about software firewalls. Think of them as your personal bodyguard for your computer. Unlike hardware firewalls that are separate devices, software firewalls are program that runs on your computer, acting as a barrier between your device and the internet. Picture it like a shield specifically for your system. These firewalls monitor incoming and outgoing traffic. The, and they use rules you can customize to decide what's allowed and what's new. It's like having a security detail that follows you around in the digital world, making sure no unauthorized data gets in or out without your permission. Software firewalls are great for individual devices they, because they offer flexibility and control over your computer's communication with the online world. Now, let's delve into how firewalls work. Let's take an example where you, where your friend lives in a gated community. When you visit him, you will be stopped by the security guard at the main gate. The security guard will then check in with your friend whether you should be allowed entry or not. If all goes well, your access is granted. On the other hand, the security guard will not get grant access to a trespasser. Here, the firewall works similar to that of the security guard. They act as a gatekeeper for your computer. Firewall operate based on predefined rules. As each data packet flow through the network, the firewall examines them against these rules. It looks at the details like where the data is coming from, where it is going, and what kind of data it is. If everything aligns with the predefined rules, the firewall allows them. Otherwise, it puts up a red flag. Based on the rules configured by the network administrator, the firewall decides whether to allow or block a packet. Rules can be specific, such as allowing or blocking based traffic based on IP addresses, port numbers, or protocols. 
Some firewalls even go beyond this and inspect the actual content of the data packets, searching for signs of potential threats. Firewalls often log information about the traffic they process. Now, firewalls can be classified as stateful or stateless. Stateful firewalls keep track of the state of active connection, while stateless firewalls filter the packets solely based solely on source and destination addresses. Stateful firewalls not only consider source and destination address, but also monitor state of active, active connections. This allows them to make more informed decisions by considering the context of the data flow. In contrast, stateless firewalls make decisions solely based on source and destination addresses without considering the state of the connection. A stateful firewall, we are essentially dealing with a smart context aware security guard for your network. Unlike simpler packet filtering firewalls, a stateful firewall keep track of the active state of active connections. It remembers the context of the, of the data flowing through it. So it so it's not just looking at the individual data packet, it is also aware of the overall conversation. Imagine it's a, it's a bouncer who not only checks the IDs but also remember who's already inside and what they are up to. This helps the firewall make more informed decisions. It knows if a data packet is part of an established connection or if it is just a random one, potentially uh, malicious one. This statefulness adds an extra layer of intelligence to the firewall, making it more effective in understanding and controlling the flow of data. A stateless firewall is like a decision but straightforward security guard for your network. Unlike its smart counterpart, the stateful firewall, a stateless firewall does not keep track of the context of the data or active connections. It is a bit more basic in its approach. Picture it as a same bouncer, but who checks only the ID without remembering what's going on inside. The stateless firewall looks at individual data packets and applies predetermined rules without considering the history of the connection. It's quick and efficient, but might miss some nuances. It's like having a security guard that follow a strict set of rules without taking into account on, on, about the ongoing conversation between the your computer um, and your network and the outside. Sorry. Firewalls offer a wide range of features that are address diverse security needs. These may include packet filtering, proxy services, network address translation, or VPN. So let's look at a few of these. Packet filtering. It is like a gatekeeper for your digital highway, which is your network. Imagine your data traveling in little packets and the packet filter is a vigilant inspector che checking each and every one of them. It looks at the details like where the data is coming from, where it's headed, and what type of data it's carrying. Then based on the set of rules you have established, it decides whether to accept or reject it. It's a bit like sorting mail, letting the important stuff in and keeping the junk out. So packet filtering is fundamental firewall feature that adds a layer of control to your network traffic, ensuring only the right data gets to its destination. Next to an is proxy. They are like secret agents of the internet. Picture your data as a traveler trying to reach a destination, but instead of going directly, it sends proxy ahead as its representative. The proxy the proxy acts as an intermediary forwarding requests and responses on your behalf. It not only adds a layer of security by shielding your real identity, but can also filter and modify content along the way for privacy and compliance reasons. So proxy is like your data's diplomatic envoy, making sure it navigates the digital world safely and securely while keeping eyes open at keeping prying eyes at bay. So, network translation address. It's like a magician's trick for your network. Imagine your internal devices having private addresses like hidden identities, and NAT is the magician's cloak that transforms these addresses into a single public address when, communi 
when communicating with the outside world. It helps maintain the privacy and security of your internal network by allowing multiple devices to share a common public IP address. Think of it as your network's way of representing a unified face to the world while keeping the individual details behind the scenes. NAT plays a key role in managing the limited pool of public IP addresses available and adds an extra layer of security for your devices. VPN Visual Private Network It's like a security tunnel for your data in the vast online world. Picture your data as a secret agent and VPN is the encrypted pathway it uses to travel from your device to its destination. It shields your data from prying eyes by encrypting them, ensuring private and secure connection, especially when using public networks. VPNs are your go-to tool for secure remote access or browsing, creating virtual bubble that keeps your information confidential and protected from potential snoopers. So in a nutshell, VPNs are the superheroes for secure online communication. Next one one is content filtering. Content filtering is like a personal librarian for your internet experience. Imagine your online world as a vast library and content filtering is the librarian sorting out the books you can and you cannot access. This feature allows you to define rules restricting perm or permitting specific types of content or website based on your preferences and organizational policies. It is like when you go to the lab, you can't access certain websites. That's a, this is how it is done. It's a powerful tool for managing internet access, enhan enhancing cybersecurity, and ensuring a productive and safe digital environment. So think of content filtering as your customized guide, helping you navigate the internet and keeping unwanted content of your virtual self. Bandwidth management. It's like a traffic cop for your internet highway. Imagine your network as a busy road and bandwidth management is the officer directing the flow of data. This feature allows you to control and prioritize the traffic, ensuring the important tasks get, get a green light while the less critical activities may experience a bit of a slowdown. It, all, it is all about optimizing the use of the available internet capacity, preventing congestion and ensuring a smoother ride for everyone on the digital highway. So bandwidth management is like having a dedicated officer orchestrating their traffic, making sure everything moves efficiently without unnecessary delays. So why are firewalls so crucial? They act as a first line of defense against cyber threats, preventing unauthorized actors, pro protecting sensitive data, and thwarting ma malicious activities such as hacking attempts or malware infections. By monitoring and controlling incoming and outgoing traffic based on predefined rules, firewall acts as a barrier between your trusted internal network and the wild and predictable internet. They help prevent unauthorized access, block malicious attacks, and safeguard sensitive data from falling into the wrong hands. Just like locking your front door at night, firewalls provide essential protection for your network while giving you peace of mind knowing that your digital assets are safe and secure. So, Even though firewalls are good in protecting them, even firewalls have limitations. They can't protect you against all threats, especially if you do risky behavior on the internet. So imagine a firewall as a castle wall. It is great at keeping, keeping out basic threats, but advanced attackers may find a way to bypass it. Sophisticated attacks is like a zero day exploits and advanced persistent threats can pose challenges for firewalls as they may not recognize or be able to define against these new techniques. Picture your uh, data as a secret messages locked in a safe. Even though firewalls can't see what's inside the encrypted traffic without decryption keys, as more and as more and more internet traffic is encrypted, firewalls may struggle to inspect and filter this data effectively, leaving potential blind spots in your network defenses. So there is also a problem like think Complex networks. Think of your networks like a tangled web of roads. It can be challenging to configure and manage firewall rules in a complex environment with multiple network segments, devices, and applications. Keeping track of all your rules and ensuring they work together seamlessly can be a daunting task for network administrators. 
So next uh, next threat would be like false positives. Imagine your firewalls as a guard dog. Sometimes box at harmless visitors, mistaking them for intruders. Firewalls may generate fa false positive alerts, flagging legitimate traffic as suspicious and causing unnecessary disruption or delays in network operations. So understanding these challenges and limitations can help you make informed decision about firewall strategy and implement additional security measures to complement your firewall's defenses. It's all about finding the right balance between your production and usability in your network security. So let's look at few few of the best practices to keep your devices safe even after the firewalls. So just like your computer, just like your phone or computer, firewalls needs updates too. Keeping them up to date with latest security patches to stay protected against new threats. Think of your firewall as a bounce bouncer at a party. Only they let they let in only the guests you know and trust. So limited access is one good way of firewall practice. So also firewall should keep locks. Imagine for your firewall locks like security cameras for your network. Keep an eye on them regularly to spot any suspicious activity and take action before it becomes a problem. So next one is back backup configuration. It's like saving your progress in a video game. Always backup your firewall configuration. That way, if something goes wrong, you can quickly restore them back and get them back on track. So the last and important one, test, test and test. Just like practicing for a big game, regular, regularly test your firewall rules and configuration to make sure they are working as intended. It's better to find and fix any issues beforehand than, than after they are exploited by attackers and leaving your system at risk. So let's look at a real world example. Equifax, one of the largest credit reporting agencies, suffered a massive security breach in 2017 that exposed uh, personal information of 147 million people. The breach occurred because Equifax failed to patch a security vulnerability in the Apache Struts web application framework. The attackers exploited this vulnerability to gain unauthorized access to sensitive data. The breach went undetected for several weeks during which the attackers accessed and exfiltrated vast amounts of personal information, including names, social security numbers, birth, date of births, and addresses. In this case, the absence of an effective firewall protection combined with the failure to address a security vulnerability led to the catastrophic consequences. Equifax faced several backlash, legal repercussions, and financial losses. The incident highlighted the critical importance of proactive cybersecurity measures, including regularly updating and patching systems and having robust firewall defenses to protect against unauthorized access and data breaches. After discovering the breach, Equifax engaged in comprehensive incident response plan, working with cybersecurity experts and law enforcement agencies. They took steps to patch the security vulnerability that had been exploited implemented additional security measures and conducted a thorough review of their systems to identify and address weaknesses. Additionally, Equifax offered free credit monitoring and identity theft protection services to the affected individuals. Conclusion In conclusion, firewalls are an integral part of ro any robust security strategy. They serve as a barrier protecting our networks from unauthorized access and potential threats. By understanding their role and implementing the best practices, we contribute to creating a more secure digital environment. Thank you.